welcome to Ubuntu Videocast. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to install uh, Oracle's Java on your uh, Ubuntu machine. Um, by default, Ubuntu is not providing any Oracle uh, Java on your system. They use some uh, Open JDK or something else. Um, and in some cases, this just doesn't work with uh, Java built applications like Smart CVS, it checks for a Java, um, full blown Java installation on your uh, machine, and you only have some uh, open JDK or something like that installed, and it just doesn't run. So, first of all, we're going to go ahead and uh, check if we have the correct Java installed or not. And for that, you just type in Java dash version and enter. And you see by default it's open JDK runtime environment ist6 blah 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 installed. Okay, um, first of all, we gotta go ahead uh, to Oracle's website and download the latest Java edition. So let's do this, and then we go ahead and um, download the JRE and the JDK, both of them. And then we select our uh, system. So in my case, it's a 64-bit version. I download that. Okay, you gotta accept that license agreement here, and then you can download your Java version. All right, so that's downloading right there. And then let's go ahead and uh, download the JDK as well. Okay that license and then download that JDK alright and as soon as it's done I'll come back and then we go ahead and do the installation okay that download is done let's go back to our console and uh, go into our download uh, directory and then we should see those um, yeah there are the two um, Java downloads we just did. Okay, next step is we're gonna go ahead and in, uh, create a new directory. So let's type in sudo and then user libjvm. Okay, it's already there, so we don't have to create that one. Excellent. If it's not there, you gotta create that. Um, and then go ahead and then we move our downloaded files to that JVM folder. So, um, Let's do that. So sudo move. And now we do star dot tar dot gz, and then move that to user lib jvm. Okay. Enter your password, <coughs> and then we change to the directory. Okay, and here are our new files. Then we go ahead and um, basically extract those uh, files. So enter sudo tar.xzdf. Then let's start the uh, JRE first. And then we do the same thing for the JDK. at it. So we see now that we have a Java JDK17010 and JRE17010 directory. Excellent. And then the next step is to basically tell your system that you have the, a new Java installation. So for that, we go ahead and enter sudo, and then update alternatives, and then we say install, and then tell them that the path of that uh, the path of the Java executable. So user bin. Java 
and then we give it a name, call it Java, and then we tell where the location is for that file. So user lib jvm and jre and serpentine and then bin and then java and then one. <coughs> That's one of it. And then the other one is for the Java compiler. It's basically the same kind of syntax. So user lib and then that is uh, Java C for the Java compiler. And then we also call it Java compiler. And then um, tell where the path is of that file. Enter. <coughs> okay, and then the next thing is um, we got to set those two uh, new entries we just uh, entered to the system, and we do uh, type in sudo, then again update alternatives, and then we got to set them, and then. Tell them the path to. Well, first of all, we gotta call it call it the name, and then we tell them the path to the Java file, and then the Java compiler. Uh, in Java. That's this one, and then we do the same sudo. Update alternatives <coughs> and then set Java C and then user lib JM JK in Java C <coughs> and hit enter. And then we have to update our uh, system variables so that the system know the Java stuff is right there. So. All right, <clears throat> all right. Let's edit the environmental variable file and um, set two lines that actually helps us uh, help the system to find the Java and Java control uh, compiler. All right, type in sudo nano and then. ETC environment and enter. and enter that above that. So do that again. So Java underscore home equals and then user lib JVM JDK one dot seven dot zero underscore ten. That's this, and then we go here on the end and then we add um, our Java home on the end of that and Java underscore home slash bin and um, I believe that's all we need to do. So on the on here, save that. Okay. And then let's see if we can export our path. Oh, let's export the Java home first. And then export the path. And 
see. Java version. And there we go. Now it tells us that we have the full blown 1.70 underscore 10 Java version installed on our system. So every time you reboot, it should be available right there for you. Right, I think it helped and that you now have uh, all the requirements for your um, Java applications that require real uh, Sun slash Oracle Java. And um, yeah, thank you, thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to visit my website www.ubuntuviewcast.com Bye. Thank you.